When a good girl gone bad, what you gonna do? Run, go meet a dad. <laughs> you don't wanna do. Well, this is Southie's soul. But the ranking won't best, yeah. Watch this. Love confession. Why She's is a heartbreaker. She bend over back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching my videos, you're more than welcome. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for your love and all your support. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And make sure you also hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video when I upload one. So for this video today, I'm going to be doing this holiday look. It's almost Christmas. The year is almost over. I can't believe 2017 is almost over. So I just thought I could do something different today because I always do all the same thing. Something gold, something with glitters. So I was like, today let me do something green or something different. So I decided to do this look. And if you guys want to see how I came up with this look, of course, just keep watching. And let's get into the video. To start off, I'm starting with my eyebrows and I'm just using this eyebrow pencil. This is just a regular brown eyebrow pencil and you can get this anywhere at Walmart or you can get it anywhere. And I'm just filling up the eyebrows and after this, I'm going to go ahead and use this brush and I'm going to brush it off just to give it a natural look. And now I'm using this Elego Pro Concealer and this is just to give the eyebrows a better look and to make it look better. And I'm just blending that in as well, and I'm also. And for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this little palette. I love this palette. It looks like the Kylie Jenner palette, guys, but it's not. But it has the same colors and everything. And I really love it. It was really cheap. And so I'm using that color for my transition color. And I'm just blending it in. And I'm just, I'm not putting it on the, on the crease of my eyes. I'm just putting it on top there. And I'm using that dark color. And I'm going to be putting that on the outer corner of my eyes. And I'm blending that in as well. And I'm also going to go ahead and bring it close, blend it in with the, the, uh, the transition color as well, just to make sure it doesn't look too red and it's not too dark either. So that's why I'm doing that. Yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and use this green from this old palette that I have. It's really old. I don't even know the name of it. It's pretty old. It's one of the uh, eyeshadow palettes that I had when I first started doing makeup. I'm spraying the brush with the setting spray just because this palette has a really bad fallout. It falls out a lot and when you spray it, it doesn't do that. And it also gives the eyeshadow like a better look. Like the eyeshadow will pop more when you spray it with the setting spray. So that's why I'm spraying like that. And I'm just tapping it like that. my eyeliner I'm using this Maybelline eyeliner and I'm using it because even though I'm gonna be using the glitter the glitters those glitters are just gonna go on top of that wing so you can't really use just the glitters to do the wing I mean you can but that's not the look that I was going for so I was using this first and then I decided to add the glitters later on So this is what I'm going to be using to do that glitter wing and I'm just going in with that, the, that glitter and I'm putting it on top of the regular eyeliner that I had and I'm going to just follow the, the regular eyeliner and do the wing as well. And 
in as you are now i'm using the clinic foundation i'm pretty sure this is getting old you're probably used to this like of course she's gonna use clinic foundation yes i'm using the clinic foundation and i'm just putting this all over my face i just love this foundation guys it like matches my skin so perfect but i'm gonna probably try to do something different someday i'll try some other different foundation and see how it looks and I'm just blending all this in. Just make sure you blend this in. It's make sure you blend it into where you can see that it's perfectly blended in with your skin. That way you don't see like there's a mark, there's a space, there's a line showing where your foundation ended. So you have to make sure you blend this in as much as you can. Go through the hair, under your neck, everywhere. Make sure you blend it in. And to highlight my face, I'm using this concealer and I'm just putting it under my eyes like that. And I'm going to go ahead and use this as well to fix any messed up eyeliner. Guys, I always mess up my eyeliner. If you mess up your eyeliner, don't worry. Um, likely, we have these people who do makeup. They know that we mess up. So they have concealer for us. So you can always clean up your eyeliner with the concealer like that. When you put it under like that, you clean up anywhere where you messed up. And everything works perfect. Nobody's going to know that you messed up. So yes, I'm cleaning up my eyeliner with this concealer as well. And I'm also highlighting my face. And to set my face, I'm going to be using this Sasha setting powder. And I'm not baking my face. I'm just getting a little bit on that um, sponge. And I'm just tapping it where, everywhere where I applied the concealer. And this is just to set the concealer. That way it doesn't look too oily or anything. So I don't like to bake this place. That way it looks, it matches well when I like, when I do the contour. So now I'm contouring my face and I'm just using the dark color on one of my eyeshadow palettes. Because I don't really have um, the contouring products. I'm trying to get some, but I just don't want to get stuff that are going to be so useless in this house. So I'm trying, I'm waiting and waiting patiently to get the perfect contouring products that I can get. But as for right now, if you don't have contouring products like me here, you can always use any dark color from your eyeshadow palette and I'm now just cleaning up everything and for my eyelashes I'm using those eyelashes and they're done so I'm using this highlight guys y'all know y'all know my relationship with this highlight like it's too strong like we have a strong relationship with this highlight look at look at that glow so I'm highlighting my face using that highlight and I'm just gonna highlight my cheeks and I'm gonna highlight my nose as well So for my lipsticks, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be mixing these two lipsticks. I can never wear one lipstick color on my lips. I do not know why. I always have to mix it. But actually just this color I can wear it by itself. But I wanted it to look a little bit more red so it can match up with my eyeshadow color a little bit. So that's why I mixed it up with the red. Because it's hard for me to just wear red by itself. I feel like red looks weird on me. So I'm mixing it up like that. Last but not least, I'm going to be using this long wear setting spray and I'm going to be using this just to set my face and I'm just going to spray that all over my face and this is it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next videos. She makes me sad.